What's up, YouTube? Jay Dantastic here, and this is my best friend Chris. And uh, this was actually mostly his idea. So, if you've seen the Hot One series, which I'm sure a lot of you have on YouTube, uh, they bring in famous guests and they eat hot wings and they try to do an interview. So, we thought it would be funny to attempt this challenge ourselves. Uh, some of the downsides are he picked out the hot sauces doesn't know anything about hot sauces so we're actually fairly certain that all four of these sauces that we're trying today are incredibly hot um, we don't have any of the heat information on any of them all we know is that most of them have like a Carolina Reaper in them yeah some kind of mixture of peppers and extreme heat and they've been burning our nose as we make them <laughs> and uh, just to preface this I don't like spicy food at all I like I mean I like spicy food but it's too hot for me so I don't really eat spicy foods the hottest I go at like wing places is like a medium I'm like a honey barbecue dude like not not spicy so I'm, I'm actually really nervous. That's why I'm stalling right now to talk, but what we're gonna do we have four <laughs> Different hot sauces. So I'll just I'll show you we have uh, flame of thrones We have uncle Snorri's taste bud annihilator, which is second the taste bud annihilator is second to tell you how hot these other ones are uh, La John's LA John's classic small batch Carolina Reaper uh, and then the, <laughs> this last one is literally so hot it's dave's gourmet ghost pepper naga jolakia hot sauce so hot it's spooky and it literally has a warning on the side of the bottle it says use this product one drop at a time it's so hot you're literally only supposed to eat one drop so we have just regular barbecue wings because like i said we don't this is not gonna go well i can already tell you that it's not gonna go well uh, so we're gonna put one drop on a barbecue wing and then just hope that we live through it So he's gonna ask me some questions so that you guys uh, can I don't know learn some stuff about me that maybe I've never talked about before After we take a bite of these wings, so we're gonna take a bite He's are you gonna ask a question and then we yep. take a bite or do we take a bite and then you ask a question? It'll be kind of simultaneous. It'll All be right. simultaneous. We'll see what we can get through um, we, we have we have the milk here uh, <laughs> it's, it's okay. We just need to go. We just need to start. Yep. Yeah, all right, good, good, good deal, good deal. So I came up with these questions, like Danny said, um, best friends since we were in fifth grade. A lot of this stuff I know, but honestly, some of these questions I don't know the answers to either. Um, so I'm excited to learn some stuff about them just like you are. Um, first up, we've deemed, uh, again, maybe- We actually don't, this could very well be the hottest sauce. Maybe the lowest, Flame <laughs> of Thrones. We don't know. So Flame of Thrones, we're gonna get into it. I was gonna see if it doesn't say made for the dragon inside eat this sauce and breathe the flames we will be breathing the flames my so friend. oh wait no here we go red habanero scorpion peppers those, oh those that, don't, that sounds mild that sounds, sounds like a mild pepper that doesn't sound hot um all right so <sighs> oh i forgot the wipes <laughs> no wipes we licking them fingers all right cheers, cheers my man All right, first question. Ooh wee! It's so hot. So. <laughs> oh no! Growing up. Oh. <laughs> oh God. What uh, focus? What um. <laughs> what cry. games? What games um influence a young Jay Dantasi? What were you playing growing up? Take a drink of milk. Answer the question. Oh Lord. <clears throat> it's so hot. It's the hottest thing I've ever had. <clears throat> so the games. <laughs> that influenced me the most. Um, ah, <laughs> probably. So the very one of the very first games I remember playing. This is gonna date me a little bit. You're gonna find out how old I am. Oh my gosh. Um, <clears throat> it was called Immortal. It was on the Nintendo Entertainment System. It was really fun. It was like an RPG. You're like a wizard. It was really cool. So I kind of kicked it off. Uh, and then from there, just like Super Mario Bros. The original Mario Bros. game. Super Mario World was probably the next jump, and then uh, the game that like really, really, really solidified me it's so hot uh, into a gamer is Final Fantasy VII, which a lot of you know is my famous favorite, my famous, my favorite game of all time, probably Final Fantasy VII. Um, and then from there, it was uh, yeah, it was kind of you know, I had already been a gamer, but Final Fantasy VII really took it to the next level in terms of like story and. Uh, 
you know how how cool video games could be. So that's that's my answer. I'm not a gamer, um, but I remember sitting chilling in Danny's room when we were sixth, seventh grade playing. Uh, if anyone ever out there played Warriors, <laughs> running around with yeah. the gang and stuff like that. Such Again, a not game. a gamer, but that was an awesome game for me. We played uh, Mortal Kombat. We played a lot of Mortal Kombat. There was one Mortal Kombat, Kombat that had uh, it had the mini game. It was like a Tetris mini game. It was like oh, yeah. it was like Tetris. And there versus. was like guys fighting on the side of it. <laughs> yeah, and you would basically try to get the bars to go down, and as you did, the characters would like fight. I think I don't know, but we played a lot of I that. I do remember that. Yeah, yeah, we played a lot of that. Good. Hey, listen, we got through that. Ooh. That was that was nice. I'm calming down, but now I'm worried because that was number that one. That was supposed to be. <laughs> Who knows? My Maybe lips, that's not... My lips hurt. I've, I've learned already, don't lick the lips. Don't lick the lips. Mm-hmm. All right, so next question. Let's get it ready. Let's grab another wing. I'm going to grab this bad boy here. Ooh. This has a lot of... I'm going to kind of... It's, it's, dab it off. You know, if you yeah. want to just, just kind of wipe it. Dab a little bit of the sauce. It off. Just wipe <laughs> it off. That's that's what you do. Again, Uncle Snorri. Taste bud annihilator. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, okay. Nah. That's a bigger bite. That's a bigger bite than I intended. Mm, okay. All right, this question. Mm-hmm. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! We're going to jump in to explain the gram. Oh! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh no. I wish we had these masks on right now. So, take a look at the gram. Way back in the day, I went all the way back to yeah, I'll put March. this up on the screen so you guys could see it. <clears throat> March 2nd, 2013. Explain the gram, Danny. It's basically me wearing a... Oh my gosh, it's so hot! (laughs) It's getting hotter. That was so much worse than the first one. It's so much hotter than the first one. I'm wearing a medical mask because some of you might not know. Oh my god. Some of you might not know that I used to be an EMT, a certified EMT. I rode in and drove an ambulance with patience and I can really use one right about now oh no so so you were in the uh, medical field in college at IU yeah EMT for a while what what moved you from that field to this field Where, when did the transition happen why did it happen so when I was in high school and stuff I always kind of thought that it's guys I'm not kidding you my mouth is, is literally on fire um I always thought that I was going to go into the medical field, and so the EMT was kind of the, uh, like a step to see if I would enjoy your sweating so much. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, I'm going to become an EMT to see if I, this is something that I really want to do, and um, after I did it for a while, oh my gosh, I really liked working with people, I loved working with patients, I loved helping people, but kind of the behind the scenes stuff. Things you don't normally see if you're not in the medical field. I wasn't really down for that, so I was like, you know what? I'm not really into the whole medical scene. So I kind of bounced around from jobs a little bit, and then that's when Dino actually contacted me. You guys know I used to work with Dino. And uh, he was like, hey, I work for this digital marketing company out here in San Diego. You should come work with me. And I was like, I love uh, social media. I do it all the time anyway, so I might as well do it as a job. I'll just take my hobby and make it my job. And uh, I'm still I'm a digital marketer to this, to this day, so that kind of spun me there that was so hot dude oh. that was so hot and it's still hot my lips I'm just gonna do this real quick grab a couple of these bad boys yeah uh, here's a napkin if you want one i couldn't lick my fingers this time i thought i might die yeah that was um yes i am sweating very much it's real hot they're real hot this okay is a reaction my body's never had before now i'm gonna just say this if you like doing this to yourself you're you're crazy hmm this, this is, is not, not. This is not for normal people. It's not fun. This is people don't do this. They shouldn't do this. It tastes good. It does kind of taste mm. good. like as you're chewing it up in your mouth. It's Literally, like when it's on the chicken, you like this chicken tastes good. Delicious. When the chicken's gone, it just leaves the heat and it gets hotter. It's like still getting hotter, and my lips hurt. I want to put my lips in this. I'm gonna... It makes you like. It causes you to like think. Should I stop breathing? Because when I breathe, it's so hot. Talking makes it worse. I just soaked my lips in that milk. Mm. We're almost let's, through it, though. We're almost through it. Let's get this going. We got, we got one more really, really, really hot one. And then we got the one that's one warning, one dab. 
Man, we almost soaked them in that, by the way. That was almost a thing. Woo! Yeah, we, before, so luckily I read the bottle and realized that it says, warning, one dab. Because we were going to literally bathe the wings. <laughs> okay. So we would have died. I'm gonna, yeah. It's so hot. Let's Ooh. get this, let's roll, let's roll. Let's get this going, this wing, question, wing, question. Right, let's yeah, go. Let's move these out of the way. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> so, not mm. L.A. John's, K. John's, like K. John's. Uh, <laughs> I'm illiterate. Also a secret you guys don't know. K. John's. So, we got K. John's, Fiery Foods, Classic. I'm going for the... the Small Batch, Carolina Reaper, Pepper Sauce. <gasps> we're doing that. We're, we're rotating it. I'm taking this fatty. I don't want to... Okay. <laughs> I'm not ready. My lip hasn't calmed down. My lips calmed down before the second one. My wing. mouth my mouth is actually my mouth is not so bad. My lips now. No, I got the taste bud annihilator. Taste buds are annihilated. Ah. <laughs> Alright. Oh. I can't even pick it up, dude. I'm so nervous. Alright. I'm shaking for real. Oh no. That one was hot right away. Yep. 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 Oh, it's in my throat! <laughs> oh God! Woo! Okay. Ah, it's burning. <laughs> no! Oh no! I was, I was, I was right there, about to say this one's not so bad. Oh no! Got me. It's in here. It's in. It's not even. No. Oh. <sighs> so the question was. Roll it. Some people don't know this, but you actually. Uh. You actually toured with a famous rapper back when you were in college, and you met a famous rapper, yeah. another famous rapper, before he got famous. Tell us about that. Yeah. Ooh, I might get a so, more of this. Uh, it was like 2009, 2010-ish, uh, junior in college. So, um, oh my god, Lord, you ate another bite? I was uh, hungry. <clears throat> Dino, uh, a lot of you know, he was in the music business. I went to college with Dino. And uh, so we had a friend who was also trying to get into the hip hop business. He's still making music to this day. <sighs> and um, he had the opportunity to go on tour with Lupe Fiasco. And so basically we were his... Shout out Lupe. <laughs> we were his posse, I guess. I don't know, his group. So I basically drove us around in my Subaru Legacy. Very luxurious. And it was a multi-city, it was like a Midwest tour. We were in Indiana, we were in Illinois, we were in Wisconsin, we were in um, whatever that other state is over there. It was a Midwest uh, tour. Missouri, it was a Midwest tour. So it was like multi, multi-state, multi multi-day. Lupe Fiasco was amazing. So we got to see Lupe Fiasco like three, four nights in a row. And uh, actually one of those nights, uh, it was in Wisconsin, I think. B.O.B. opened up for uh, Lupe Fiasco, so that was really cool. So I was actually on stage with B.O.B. when he did a sound check, uh, and then he performed before Lupe. Uh, but the other rapper, it's so hot. I'm just, I'm talking a lot to like keep the heat. <laughs> get that heat out. Gotta get out of your body. Uh, so the other hip hop stars, actually Post Malone. Um, so uh, not like friends or anything, but a lot of you might not know this, but I, when I worked with Dino in California, we were actually building a social platform for Team Crafted, which I'm sure a lot of you remember. Uh, and that's actually how I met like Sky and Jerome and Mitch um, and Ryan. And uh, Minecraft Universe was actually friends with this guy. And we went out, we went to visit the Team Crafted house where they were all living together. And uh, this guy was there. And uh, he was really chill. He's a nice guy. He was a happy go lucky guy. He's, you know, he's kind of sitting in the corner, like strumming a guitar, singing songs, having a good time. And uh, we didn't think anything of it at that point because, you know, he's just kind of a guy hanging out, friends with Minecraft Universe. And uh, next thing you know, a few years later, uh, this guy pops onto the scene. His name is Post Malone, and he's making crazy good music. He's one of my favorite artists out right now. And uh, it turns out that that was him. Dino texted me, and he was like, that's, that's the guy that we met at the Team Crafted house is, uh, is now Post Malone. So, yeah, that's crazy. I've actually met several you can throw up don't no throw, don't just gotta get i gotta burp it out a little bit this guy, this guy. You know, keep it going keep the flow no that's pretty sweet you have met quite a few famous a few famous people famous people yeah lady gaga guns and roses we've done, I've done a lot of cool stuff You've been around I, i've been my life kind of you know in terms of meeting cool people it happened really early so i probably 
you, you know what? Last year, I saw Nicolas Cage at an airport. Nice. I didn't talk to him, though. I didn't want to bother him. I wasn't 100% sure it was Nicolas Cage, but he was behind me in security, and the airport lady was helping him through, and I like did one of like these little peeks, and I saw his ID, and it was Nick Cage. But I didn't want to bother him, because who wants to be the guy that's like, Nick Cage? He's trying to catch a flight. Dude, Nick Cage, that's sweet. But it was I, I bumped into Bill Murray once. Um, I literally just bumped in. Uh, true Bill Murray fashion, Hawaiian shirt, camo bucket hat. It was awesome. <laughs> cool thing. Uh, closest I've gotten to a celebrity. Do you tell you no one's going to believe me? No. No. Um, <laughs> I'm out of milk for all you viewers out there. For the hottest one. Um, that was the only wing that hurt. The other wings were very hot and fiery. That, yeah, that yeah. wing, it pained me. Like, yeah. I, I have pain from that wing. Yep. It's about to get a lot. I'm excited for this. because Why? we Because we get a little bit of barbecue sauce. Because <laughs> we get just just some sweet <laughs> barbecue sauce. <laughs> Let's go. Woo! I'm feeling right. better. A little dab will do you. Next. What do they consider? One drop. Okay. One drop. Just a little. Oh, my God. Oh, a little dabber. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it just burned out all my nose hairs. <clears throat> oh no. Just sniffing it. <coughs> pour it right here, we'll dip. <clears throat> pour, it, pour it and we'll dip. <clears throat> I was gonna a little, little dip. Alright, go for it. We'll drop. You're so bad. We'll drop her. <laughs> well, literally just a drop, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna dip? Yeah, I'm just gonna dip. I'm gonna do a little That's dip. That's a lot. <laughs> Well, I'm not gonna dip that much. So we got, we do got Dave's Gourmet. Shout out Dave's Gourmet. Dave's this Gourmet. This is not sponsored, by the way. Go, ghost Pepper. <laughs> Pull these off the shelf. Yep, Ghost Pepper, uh, Nala Jokia hot sauce. I'm soaked. So hot, it's spooky. Spooky, y'all. All right. Warning! One drop! Don't feed this to your dogs, your children. <laughs> Don't feed it to your babies. Don't feed it to your pets. If you got heart, if you have heart conditions, don't eat this. This, this base, basically this is a dangerous roller coaster. Babies, pregnant women, dogs, don't do it. This would be a bad time to find out that either of us has a heart condition. <laughs> but this also would be the this would be the time that we would find out. This is going to give me a heart condition. <laughs> yes, All right. We didn't have one before. We have one now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So so this is a good one. Let's let's get up here. Let's grab our wings. You got your dab. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna dip. I got a little. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> that's why I didn't want to dip. That's too much, but whatever. We're going for it. Okay. Cheers, my man. You can taste the spice a little yep. bit. Yep. You can taste that. I'm like, oh no. Again, every time I'm like, I'm gonna go back in for a little bit. Why did I don't you do feel that? it. Oh! And then you feel it. It's one drop. <laughs> yeah, literally, guys. We have one drop of this. So you started your channel seven years ago. Yeah, a long time. What are the most memorable moments? What, what would you pinpoint the most memorable moments in your gaming, streaming career? So, um... <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Um, That's it, folks. No more milk. Um... Most memorable moments, seven year so, career. <laughs> I started the channel in 2011-ish, and um, my very first video was uh, Super Horse and Skyrim. Some of you may know that. It's so hot. God. One drop. Ugh. One drop. And uh, back then, I got that video posted on Kotaku. The very first video I ever made, I submitted it to Kotaku, and they posted it. Oh, God. And they said that, um, and it got like, you know, 60,000 views. First video I ever made. And I was like, this is, I'm going to be so famous. I'm going to be the biggest <laughs> YouTube star ever. This is, so, this is so easy. And, uh, turns out, no, that was not the case. And then every other video after that was terrible. Um, but so that was, that was pretty memorable that I got that to happen. Um, just the general milestones, like hitting a thousand subs is crazy. Obviously a hundred thousand subs is absolutely insane. Um, all the trips out to Bondi, of course. Y'all know that I love Bondi. Bondi is phenomenal. Uh, so getting to travel out there and uh, hang out with friends. Oh my gosh. And, uh, you know, all, all, all that kind of stuff. So really just, like, the friends that I've made. The squad, of course. You guys know who you are. Um, you know who they are. Um, 
yeah, probably just that, that, all that good stuff. It's so hot, dude. It's so hot. Listen, oh though. Oh my gosh. We we now have an experience. If we didn't have enough, which which we do, but we have yet another experience that bonds us for life. That's true. We've gone through a trauma together here today. These wings are a trauma for all you out there. Try them yourself if you don't believe us. They're hot. They're hot. I can't believe that the one drop one was the hottest one. That that was insane. I mean, and literally, guys, seconds before we come up here, we're like, should we should we bathe them in there? Should we just listen we to the gonna, warning we label? Were, we were gonna bathe them in the one drop sauce. So happy we we would have died. So happy we did it. My nose is running. I'm sweaty. I'm glad I cut my hair off because. Oh. It's just sweat. My lips, my lips hurt the most, I think. Like, I keep just putting my lips in the milk. Both of us have mustaches. I don't know about you, but I've gotten a little bit of the sauce on my mustache, and then it, like, hits my mouth again. I think I'm going to lick my mustache in a week and and be <laughs> and have, like, PTSD back into the, the hotness. We made it, though. We did. We made it. I learned a ton about, mostly about your gaming career. Like I said, we've been through a lot. Did you have another question? Um, I know that was it. That's, oh, that was that's it. seven made years. It. We made it. We made it. We hit it. We, we got it. Oh. Okay, so Ooh. it was a good idea. I'm glad you came out. See, he actually lives in Ohio, so you got to come yeah. all the way. I live in uh, Indiana, Indianapolis, so we live like two hours apart, but oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it actually was a lot of fun. I don't. It's not something that I'm probably ever going to do again. Oh, no. God, no. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. It's so, so hot. Such a mistake. Uh, we're gonna I'm, we're gonna leave it to the hot ones. So hot ones. I don't know how the host of that show, dude. I don't know how you do it. How it, he does it. You literally he the calmest man in the world. And these probably aren't even nearly as hot. I think that you said that this one of them was like a million, maybe. One was like a million. They said up to like a million Scoville. I the think show, they've had like, to 20, like two million, like two point five. Million? Like he's got a ton. He goes. Ins I don't know how they do it. So shout out to that guy because that's insane. Uh, shout out to all you guys for hanging out with us and watching this video. Uh, hopefully you had a good time watching us sweat. I'm gonna go wash my hands and chug some more milk. I'm gonna and, bathe uh, myself in milk. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna take a milk bath. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you all in the next video at some point. Maybe we'll have to come up with something else crazy to do. We'll get out and, here. We'll uh, do some crazy stuff. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Because you guys know, I don't know, the channel is just for fun now. So we're just having fun with it, doing crazy <laughs> fun stuff. This was less fun, more crazy. Less fun. Crazy uh, for sure. Yeah. But you're all awesome. We'll talk to you in the next one. Later. Damn. It's so hot. Oh they God. are very hot. Oh, my God. <laughs>